want to take you live to pictures coming to us uh, via NASA of the Air Force Base in Vandenberg in California, where you can see SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, which uh, is about to launch with a US European Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich Ocean Observing Satellite. And that's designed to extend the 30 years of study on the ocean floors. It will be the first of two identical satellites that will monitor over, uh, launched five years apart, which will monitor uh, increases in sea levels and really help to monitor and combat uh, climate change all over the world. It's uh, going to have a lot of UK expertise on board that satellite as well with the uh, uh, Met Office and uh, the National Oceanography Centre also wanting to analyse that data. Let's have a listen in now as we expect the countdown to take off in the of next Sentinel minute. Sentinel-6, Michael Freilich, continuing a legacy of ocean observation and international collaboration to benefit all humanity. And Wendy propulsion is nominal. watching those amazing pictures uh, live of that People rocket agree. launching from Vandenberg sure. in California. Let's bring in uh, Dr. John Sidorn from the uh, head of ocean forecasting research and development at the Met Office. Absolutely incredible pictures both from Earth looking up at that uh, Falcon 9 and from the rocket looking back down to Earth. Always an amazing spectacle whenever SpaceX launches something into space, but very exciting from a science perspective as well, Doctor. Yeah, hello. It's great to see those pictures, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is absolutely. very exciting. It is very exciting for us because um, clearly uh, this is uh, a real a real step forward for us in getting that reference mission back up in the sky. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's up in the sky. We haven't quite seen it go yet, but... Uh, yeah, very exciting for us. So why does this launch that we're watching happen over the seas of California matter to us watching from here in the UK, aside obviously from being absolutely amazing pictures? So there are a number of altimeters, uh, satellites that measure the, the sea level uh, up, up at the moment, but the reference mission, which is the one that provides the, the really high fidelity, the high accuracy data that we really need to, to baseline the rest of the, the, the observations, uh, is the, the, the JSON uh, series of sent, uh, satellites is, is coming to end of life. So this ensures that we get that continuity into the future and up into 2030. So it really makes sure that what we're doing now can be continued, but also continued with with, with improved accuracy and improved information. So just give us a little sense of the amount of work that's gone into today, because I understand the satellite's only the size of a small four by four car, but it's going to orbit around the Earth, around 830 miles above the planet, uh, and will do so for, for many years to come. Well, first of all, I'm not a satellite uh, uh, technical okay. guy, so I'm not involved in that. But, but I mean, if you look at that thing, it's, it's about the size of a car, as you say, but the precision sensors on it that are required to measure the sort of the, the centimetre level uh, of, of the sea level in amongst all the waves, you know, the waves which could be 20 metres, uh, requires not only good sensors to measure the, the sea level, but uh, the positioning needs to be pretty much millimetre accurate. The, the ability to uh, position the satellite requires massive amounts of technology. So it's really impressive work these, these guys are doing. And, and a continuation of important studies, because, of course, we have seen, haven't we, the uh, concerns about climate change increasing in recent years, not least with the threat from flooding uh, becoming more serious here in the UK. Yeah, so obviously, if we if we even increase the, the sea level a small amount, our, our flood defences are, are designed around a sort of the present day 
uh, or at least the, 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 the recent flood defence that design around the present day uh, sea level. So if that increases, that will increase the frequency of, uh, of uh, overtopping and flood events around our coastal cities. Uh, and that's a, that's a key problem. And of course, we don't really fully understand at the moment and uh, necessarily how that might evolve in time. So what we what we hope to do with these satellites is to take the data, combine these data with models, uh, and the bringing of the models and the, the data together gives us a real nice 4D picture of what's happening now and what's happened in the recent past. And that will allow us to really uh, hone and tune the, the information we've got about what might happen in the future, and that's, that's really critical. And that might be the future over the next few days, because a lot of people working in the marine environment really need that, but also obviously longer term uh, for climate change studies and so on. It's interesting, isn't it? Because some environmentalists are actually quite opposed to space travel. They see it as hugely expensive and actually in itself harmful uh, to the planet. But this, I suppose you would argue, is absolutely worthwhile. Um, how worried are you about the state of our oceans? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we have to be careful. There's all sorts of uh, things going on in the oceans that we have to be very, very aware of and conscious of, of, of the damage we're doing. So, of course, sea level rise as a, as a result of uh, human-induced uh, climate change is, 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 is a really big issue for, uh, for the high-impact events that we get, like flooding and like storms and so on. Uh, they're, 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 they're a real issue, but there are other things. There are plastics in the ocean at the moment. Um, the, the, the state of the marine, marine ecosystems is, is something we really uh, got to keep an eye on. Because it's under the under the sea, people don't see it. But but you know we've we, we're really got to be a bit more conscious about how we treat uh, the marine environment. And missions like this will allow us um, to understand the sea surface. But when you combine them with modelling and uh, and uh, other surveys of the, the of the environment, we can really uh, make sure we're a bit more uh, uh, do our duties as global sort of Earth, Earth systems better in the future. I think.